Hello, my name is Dwayne DeSilva. I am a SAP Leonardo and Cloud Platform Solution Engineer. And in today's session, I'd like to give you an overview of SAP Leonardo. But before we get started, I'd like to provide a little bit of background. Many people have said that the innovation process is just random. It's just whenever those aha moments seem to happen in your life. Or, you know, it requires folks that are, are really geniuses in their field and they really can dig in like Thomas Edison and, and be have amazing uh, thought processes going on. Uh, or, or that it's just it's a long process. It's an expensive process and thus risky. And so let's just kind of leave it up to the R&D departments to do that. And I'd like to ask the question, you know, really, does innovation have to be this way? I, I think many innovations that seemed crazy at a time uh, now fundamentally shape our lives. In 1901, a semi-known person named Wilbur Wright made a statement that man would not fly, right, for 50 years. And yet in 1903, they flew. Right. In 1899, many influential publications and individuals made the statement that the, quote, horseless carriage could never work. Technically, it would be too expensive and everyone would continue riding bicycles. And yet in 1908, the Model T was born. And a little bit closer to home for us uh, back as early as in the 2000s, the concept of online shopping still had many folks that were detractors and they said brick and mortar is going to stay because folks want to go touch and feel what they're buying. And yet today, and those same folks really believe nothing like a car could be bought online, but today really you can buy anything that you want online. Right, So we live in a world where everything around us is digitally transforming and it's truly impacting the way that we work at our jobs. It's impacting the way that we live in our homes. It's certainly impacting and has greatly impacted the way that we interact with others. And, and companies are getting this. They certainly understand it. Um, back in 2016, Forbes did a study that said that 72% of global CEOs, right, believed that the next three years were far more important for their business and their industry than the last 50 years. So they certainly see it coming but they're not always sure exactly what to do. They just know right now that what we need to do is either innovate, right, or die. And we've just seen it happen too many times where customers that don't adapt and don't innovate, it just end up vanishing. Uh, Phil McKinney, an American business person, said, when it comes to innovation, an ounce of execution is worth more than a ton of theory. That's great. I think um, all the organizations get it, right, that we need to innovate or we're going to vanish. But a couple years ago, Accenture did a study where it said only 5% of organizations believe that they have mastered digital to a point of differentiation with our company. So it's not that we don't know we need to do it. It's how to do it. And this is exactly why SAP created SAP Leonardo. We what we did was combine the core aspects of innovation, creativity plus execution plus technology to drive to actual innovation outcomes. With SAP Leonardo, innovation gets done. Let's find out how. Today, companies are flooded with amazing technologies that support innovation, but they're often unsure how to bring these technologies together for improved business outcomes. SAP saw a massive opportunity to help our customers take and complete their digital journey, not just around innovation, but to become truly scaled digital businesses. The power is when these technologies are brought together by intelligently connecting people, things, and businesses. And this is why we have created SAP Leonardo. 
It is a digital innovation system that enables our customers to rapidly innovate at scale in order to redefine their business models and their business processes for the digital world. Why is this important? Well, there's truly measurable outcomes. According to an MIT study, companies with 50% or more of their revenues from digital ecosystems achieve 32% higher revenue growth and 27% higher profit margins. So why the name Leonardo? Well, Leonardo da Vinci was many things, but Leonardo da Vinci was truly an artist, a scientist, and an innovator. Leonardo da Vinci knew that innovation was a blend of art and science, not one or the other. So we chose the name Leonardo because we embrace this same approach for innovation. So what is SAP Leonardo? We call it a digital innovation system because it's not just a set of leading edge technologies, but a complete digital innovation system that blends the art and science of innovation together by combining, first, a rapid innovation process and methodology that embraces the power of design thinking at its core. It does harness the power of six core innovation technologies around data, data intelligence, analytics, machine learning, IoT, and emerging technologies such as blockchain, and builds that upon the SAP Cloud Platform. SAP Cloud Platform is the leading digital enterprise platform and provides the underlying dynamic architecture for Leonardo. SAP Cloud Platform is comprised of the broadest selection of business and technical services in the industry to ensure that all required innovation technologies are available on a single platform in the cloud because there are core horizontal technologies such as integration and security that need to be available everywhere. And all of this is built upon the only multi-cloud platform that gives customers the choice of deployment infrastructure while still providing the improved agility and reduced total cost of ownership for a, for a cloud-first strategy. So before we explore SAP Leonardo in a bit more detail, what can customers expect from Leonardo? What can they expect for the results? Well, let's, let's see some examples. Trinitalia, who's a primary, uh, primarily a train operator in Italy, was facing challenges with unscheduled maintenance causing costly repairs and, and uh, uh, definitely frustrated passengers due to breakdowns. They're in customer. So they used SAP Leonardo, the IoT, HANA, and analytics components to transform themselves from a scheduled to a predictive maintenance strategy for their over 30,000 trains. And they're using real-time sensor insights, plus the advanced analytics that come from using the Leonardo components to significantly improve their customer experience by proactively detecting machine failures before it happened. So they didn't have as many breakdowns and people weren't as frustrated. And this has also served to extend their equipment life cycles because things didn't have hard breakdowns. They were able to repair them before time and other things didn't break as a result. The value, um, maintenance costs went down eight to 10%, but they were also able to increase, significantly increase their train uptime and their customer service. Nissan, which is an automotive company in over 180 countries, was really facing uh, challenges with decision lead times taking too long due to lack of necessary data for decision makers. So they chose SAP to use our digital innovation platform that included our cloud platform, our big data and IoT services, as well as our industry leading BI uh, solutions and the HANA platform for its unique analytics capabilities and data aggregation features. The net is that their decision lead times are shorter. They have stated that they move 2 billion US dollars weekly and they're predicting an improvement of 20% on their warranty costs as a result. And they're also predicting increased sales because of improved customer relationships. And Stara, one of the largest Brazilian manufacturers in the agricultural uh, machinery area, uh, was really on a mission to help equip farmers with high-tech tools and to maximize production. But their end game was to help feed the world. They just wanted to produce more food for the world, which is amazing. So they created the first tractor in Brazil that sent live data through a farm management system and back to Stara, and that was using the SAP Leonardo data platform 
to run their business in real time, and let's improve their relationships with our 120 dealers and over 40,000 farmers. The, the net is they've seen a rise in crop production of 51%, and they're executing their MRP runs 100 times faster. So customers are, are experiencing powerful innovation um, outcomes by using SAP Leonardo. So the Leonardo Rapid Innovation Process, the first component that we reviewed on the previous slide, really incorporates innovation and design thinking services uh, as a methodology. And it was created to quickly move from concepts to actionable blueprints by, by driving the process of selecting the best projects that have the opportunity to succeed while minimizing risk. You know, in this process, users are truly encouraged to think about big challenges and big ideas, but to start small so that they can ensure that success is achievable in, in, in a reasonable time frame. You know, at the core of it is, is design thinking, which is a human-centered process that really aims to amplify human capability with technology, not replace humans. And it because it utilizes, it goes this by embracing empathy and collaboration between people, but it does it in a fast-moving, iterative, and engaging environment. Design thinking is a widely used and mature process used extensively throughout SAP, and I had the, the, the uh, great opportunity recently to participate in a virtual all-day design thinking session with our customer HP that utilized interactive whiteboards, digital sticky notes, and live video feeds that created a more personal, collaborative environment, even though it was online. And it really resulted in the discovery of a wide range of ideas for further explanation. So, so let's briefly talk about the steps that are involved in the rap, rapid innovation process versus what we call solution ideation and vision. Really, it begins with this ideation process where we um, take, it, take part in our customers and design-led digital transformation workshops where we really want to explore concepts quickly, utilize techniques such as brainstorming and, 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 and other discovery techniques, really get ideas on the table, really open up and, and get folks out of, of, of the boxes that we all contend to live in, right? And we, we take advantage of, we have global Leonardo centers for design thinking and innovation that are amazing uh, locations to be able to facilitate these processes. But like I explained in my example, we can either do it virtually with our customers uh, or we can do it one-on-one -on -one in their environment. The next step is rapid prototyping. So what we want to do is not just get a bunch of concepts and ideas out there. We need to start validating them and determining if they're feasible. So in this step, we take innovative ideas and they bring them to life using the rapid uh, prototyping tool SAP Build to create interactive prototypes that, that users can touch and feel and, and, and validate or invalidate uh, quickly. And we can utilize group studies to get large amounts of people involved with the process. Next is the business case development. No innovation project is going to go forward without business justification. And in this step, we use business case development to, to define ROI and strategic value to really um, build that as the foundation for the case. And, and even here, we're not done. Finally, we get to the technology blueprint. And many innovation projects, even if they've made it this far, can fail because there's no defined plan for moving forward into an actual technology implementation. So in this phase, we put together a technical technology roadmap that creates and identifies steps and any dependencies and any risks and ways that we can remediate risk. So you can see that the first part of this is not about technologies, but about creativity and, and process and moving that through. Now let's discuss the six core Leonardo technology domains that we looked at in the hexagons on the prior slide. The first one is IoT. And this is all about connecting things with people and processes. Um, we have connected products and assets. I have another uh, slide momentarily that goes into IoT a bit of detail, but this is really one of those core technologies because we need to bring data from whatever system or people or, or application together in order to improve the quality of our business processes. We'll visit that more in a minute. 
Machine learning is has been around a very long time, but it's about intelligence enabled by learning from data. And um, this these projects have often existed in silos in many cases. And our goal is to foundationally wrap this into the business applications themselves. We want machine learning to be available everywhere and to everyone by embedding it throughout uh, any innovation and any application to solve and, and deal with common business challenges that have frustrated us for years and years, but also give the ability to train and deploy deep learning and new, new machine learning models so that we can loop it back around with humans and improve the process. Next, a really emerging technology, blockchain, which certainly is not nearly as mature as the other domains on this particular um, slide, but has the potential to fundamentally transform business transactions um, by, by decentralizing um, transactions in a way that still retains trust and eliminates third-party intermediaries. But in blockchain, we have full visibility throughout our chain, increased stability to audit, increased security. The blockchain is, is, is just one of those foundational technologies that's going to really begin to emerge and explore um, itself within the world over the coming years. Analytics has always been essential and critical to any a business process and business application. And we want embedded analytics combined with machine learning to give processes and insights to people wherever they're at in the business process or, or the business application. Big data is an amazing um, um, potential because of all of the information that is, is core uh, to what big data brings, especially when you think about it from an IoT perspective. But it, it, one of the challenges has been just managing it. How do I, one, put a process and governance around big data? How do I really discover uh, intelligence in big data? But how do I combine that, right? How do I combine that with my core backend system like ERP or, or other uh, agile data marts or, or things that are going on in the cloud? How can I bring those together um, and harness that power throughout? And, and the sixth one is data intelligence. So this is really putting data into a business context. So having trusted and real-time uh, benchmarks that can help, like our Nissan example, really in decision-making type scenarios, but also there is a lot of potential value in data from a monetization perspective and to help you harness your data and turn it into potentially even additional product or revenue streams uh, is at the core. So these are really the foundational core six capabilities within Leonardo. Now, next I'd like to walk through, I mentioned IoT is really a, a, a deep area and Internet of Things is on top of mind for many companies. While this technology has existed for several decades, it was limited to really an operational use. And the evolution of connectivity, big data management, analytics, cloud technologies is really enabling us to converge this operational and, and, and other internet uh, uh, IoT technology to make machines smarter, to drive end-to-end -end digital processes and transformation. Um, and so we have created a complete portfolio of capabilities in and around uh, interface, uh, Internet of Things capabilities. So at a high level, what you see on this, this slide is in the gray boxes, these are really more package type solutions that I'll explain here momentarily, while the blue boxes represent a lot of the technical and business foundational components. So, so let's walk through this in a bit more detail. The SAP Leonardo Bridge is all about combining real-time information from connected things that would probably be coming from these products or these foundational technologies and, and, and turning them in and combining them into a business context, such as in a, in a supply chain, in a, in, a, in a running live supply chain environment, right? So that becomes the bridge between the feed and the data um, and the actual business processes themselves. Connected solutions are really a range of packaged enterprise end-to-end -end solutions for connected um, things um, and products that run across lines of business and industry use cases. So connected products is about leveraging sensor data to enable rapid innovation design and engineering of smart products for information-driven product information, right? We can think about uh, connected products in the, in the shopping area there. Connected a uh, assets is about analyzing, optimizing, and maintaining fixed assets across your business network. This could be machines sitting in a shop floor and other assets that are, that are part of that process. 
connected fleets when you think about the fleets of of of, of vehicles and other other things that are out there to move around product information. It's about tracking, monitoring, and maintaining all of those moving assets wherever they are in the world and, and, and understanding the, the, the position of that in a business process, right? Is a broken down truck going to affect the delivery of, of, of something or a quality of service that I've provided? But it's also about things like sustainability. Am I doing things in a smart way that's improving my, my footprint, my global footprint, uh, my carbon footprint, or, or sustainability objectives? Are we meeting those? Connected infrastructure is about optimizing and maintaining things like structures, buildings, construction projects, and how, how much energy are we using? Or how are we doing in our energy grid? Can we improve service and operations and compliance to the users of connected infrastructure, which would, which would be folks like the tenants? How can we make it better for them? Connected markets is about empowering urban and rural and physical areas with really actionable insights for sustainable informa- uh, innovation and for doing things like reducing emissions, reducing traffic congestion, and reducing energy usage. In this category, I want to give you a, a, a little bit more specific examples. You know, for, for connected markets, we have uh, market insights. This is... Um, this is like connect, connected goods that uh, the connected goods solution is is about making it easy to remotely capture and analyze sensor data from connected devices like like a vending machine and be able to get insights from that so we can measure both product um, um, uh, how is my product working through there but how much energy is it running and, and things of that nature and be able to couple that with other decision process like weather data and things of that nature. For rural areas, a great example is Vehicle Insights, which enables you to monitor live vehicle conditions and run power, powerful connected car analytics. And in urban areas, connected parking is a great example that aims to ease the pains of parking by helping consolidate parking space availability across multiple locations, to be able to assist with reserving parking, publishing real-time status of space information, and, and, and so on. So there's some great examples of products in the connected markets area. And finally, connected peoples about improving the work, the health, the the environments of people in general for improved customer satisfaction. Improved health is big here um, and and helping people live healthier lifestyles and energy usage. And at the bottom, briefly, um, we won't go through these in detail, but these are really the foundational components uh, that sit underneath these capabilities. The IoT Foundation includes both best-of-breed services that enable users to rapidly build applications, such as um, capabilities like digital twins, like rep- the digital representation of a physical object, um, reusable application services, uh, which could be um, anything from core security and integration. Uh, we have messaging that needs to happen, high quality messaging between uh, analysts. And we have uh, elements of data management. How do we um, utilize uh, intelligence across data, such as time series um, analysis or event-based analysis? These are about core services uh, that are the foundation of our uh, IoT applications. The uh, Leonardo IoT Edge is about bringing intelligence to the edge. We don't want all of our processing or our data moving to a central location. We want to be able to have a central platform for managing the policies of the of the uh, types of intelligence we want to apply, but we want to be able to deploy that to where the data is. Those things such as persisting data at the end, um, applying policies of predictive and machine learning, and even analytics at the edge um, in order to do that where the data is. And again, as we've mentioned, all of this sits on and utilizes the capabilities of the SAP cloud platform in the cloud and the HANA in-memory data platform. So to maximize return on investment and as, as, as a part of the delivery of SAP Leonardo and to maximize, re- or, like I said, ROI, it's important to innovate quickly, fail fast and rapidly innovate uh, at scale, right, to deliver business benefits. We understand the value of the speed. So we're introducing, um, and we've introduced a number of what we're calling industry accelerators. These really combine software and services and that reduce the time from innovation and the implementation of a solution by more than 50%. Think of this like taking the Leonardo uh, digital innovation system capabilities that we've talked about, the rapid innovation process, technologies, and wrapping it in a set of best practices. SAP has been 
Um, for over 45 years, we've worked in 26 different industries, and we have learned an amazing amount of knowledge about these industries, and we're taking and packaging that knowledge together with the digital innovation system of Leonardo um, to help minimize risk and accelerate the innovation process. Each of these accelerators combines, uh, as we've mentioned, design thinking, but very specific industry knowledge uh, for a number of different industries. It combines the software needed to implement against these industry accelerators and combines data intelligence um, in order to provide packaged knowledge, packaged intelligence uh, to be able to do that. And while we're continually growing this from an industry perspective, if there isn't one that's already available, um, you can leverage our open innovation path, which is really a, a, a more open process through here. But in many cases, customers will find value uh, and be able to do this. And, and we're so confident in the way that we've packaged this, these industry accelerators. We do these at a fixed price and deliver outcomes in eight weeks time. So it's all about getting things done. Remember, we had that quote earlier about it's all about execution, and that is what these are built to do. So we're not only bringing Leonardo as an innovation system to our customers and our partners to power new business applications. We are using Leonardo ourselves throughout the SAP portfolio to make our business suite, our um, system of applications and, and solutions more intelligent. So we're bringing the power of SAP Leonardo to every solution that we have. Um, and, and with our, again, as I've mentioned, our 45 years of experience in creating market-leading business applications across 26 industries, we're, we have a unique perspective of how to couple innovation into core business solutions to result in improved, improved business processes and improved business outcomes. So the, one of the best ways to experience Leonardo is to see some of the amazing demos that have been put together. And I'd like to mention three of them here for you so you can start to see the power and of them. Leonardo Live Business is all, all about helping you discover and engage with core technologies in Leonardo, such as blockchain, machine learning, and even being able to see a digital twin like we see on here. This is a digital twin of a shoe and do that in an augmented reality experience. This is actually pointing at a piece of paper on, on a physical table and gives you interactivity of using that very experience. The Velotix AR Inspector, in, in this demo, you step into the shoes of a, literally of an employee of the Velotix bike company, and you're able to access 3D models of bikes that have been sold, and you interact with those models using an augmented reality experience to review things like KPIs and, and provide enhanced service to owners by such as finding out that a battery is about to fail and, and sending the owner proactively information about getting a new battery. And with the SAP machine, uh, Leonardo machine learning demo, you can explore the core machine learning foundation technologies, such as how machine learning is applied to image matching algorithms, as well as package solutions that actually take advantage of those core foundational components, such as SAP brand impact, where you can watch a video and have SAP track the, the brand exposure of, so for example, your company logo to see if you're getting the type of exposure that you're expecting. Now that you're interested in Leonardo, it's fantastic. We have um, a, a very well-defined process that you can engage with us in to help you walk this path together with us. And the first step is to reach out to your SAP account executive and let them know that you're interested. Leonardo engagements follow a well-defined process, which is summarized at a high level here, but there's a lot of details behind this process. And we have built this to result in success. And again, in a structured time frame. So uh, engagements, in, especially around an industry accelerator, are targeted for a fixed time frame on a fixed cost. But we can walk you through an open innovation process as well and still move towards desired outcomes. So really, with SAP Leonardo, uh, digital innovation at scale and it, to confidently transform your business. I just want to say thank you for listening today, and we look forward to engaging with you around SAP Leonardo.